In this mini lesson, we will be answering the essential question, how does making connections help my reading? We have talked a lot about making connections. Sometimes this can be difficult if we don't have experiences or much background knowledge. Today, I want to review with you how to explain how your connections help you understand your story. Today, let's continue to look at making connections, but let's go above and beyond just sharing the connection. Are the connections really helping to deepen your understanding of your reading? In other words, are the connections meaningful? As you make a connection, you need to be able to explain how it helps you understand what you are reading. Watch me or your teacher as we demonstrate. Your teacher will model by sharing part of a text from Sweet Clara and the Freedom Quilt by Deborah Hawkinson. I suggest your teacher begin reading and stop at where she learns to sew. This reminds me of when I spent a week with my grandmother learning to sew. This is a text to self-connection. It was something I wanted to do and very challenging mentally. None of us could ever relate to slavery, but it gives me hope that some slaves were able to learn challenging skills that they might have enjoyed. We can record this connection on our think mark and continue reading. Stop where she is eavesdropping on conversations. This reminds me of other books I have read about slavery. One book that I read this summer was called To Be a Slave, and it told of how slaves would come up with songs as a way of communicating escape routes on the Underground Railroad. It helps me understand that slaves had many secret ways of communicating how to escape and run away. We can record this on our think mark and continue reading. We can stop again to make more connections with this sentence starter. This reminds me of when. Can you think of a time when you ran through the woods or hid? Perhaps a camp activity? Think of an experience. This experience helps me and you understand in a small, small way how frightening and difficult it was to be a runaway slave. Did you notice how our connections are helping us have a better understanding of the story? Even though I have never been a slave, I have experiences that help me understand a little bit about the experience. I want you to use the anchor chart and think for a moment about connections that you made last week in your reading. Your teacher will give you this think time to come up with what we can do to add to this list. Then turn and talk to a partner about connections that you made last week in your reading. You may use your think mark to help you. Remember, when you make a connection, reflect upon and record not just what the connection was, but how it helps you understand your story. After a set time of independent reading, we will do a sharing time activity. In this sharing time activity, students will come, up, come to the meeting area and the teacher will remind students of how to buzz about their books. Ask students to share about what they read and the connections they made. Ask students to share if at any time they found themselves straying and what they did to refocus their thinking. Your teacher will circulate and listen in on various student conversations. Allow four to five minutes for the share activity. Next, have the students share any new discoveries they might have had about connections. The teacher will then share observations with students about what the teacher was hearing and seeing from you guys during this time. Have students record in their book logs, their daily reading logs, how much they read and what they learned from their buzz activity. Here are the goals your teacher will assess for the week. It's important to share these with your students so that they understand what you are looking for. Can students sustain independent reading for 30 to 40 minutes? Can students accurately complete the book log? Can students buzz effectively about the book that they are reading? Are students making connections? Are students monitoring when they stray from their reading? Can they identify and use strategies to refocus? Can students select a just right book independently? 
Do students demonstrate appropriate behaviors during reading workshop? Do students demonstrate an understanding of transition expectations for guided reading? Are students using think marks to track their thinking? Can students do a five finger retell about the book that they are reading? And did students complete a reading reflection letter?